So have you ever done it before? What is it? channel so today I'm here with like a story time video so let's get talking have you ever done it before well the other day this situation seemed to arrive yeah I got a message saying have you ever done it before there's multiple it's am I doing the same it that you did or is this a different it I've done it if it's what you're talking about no I haven't done that it Does it mean sex does it mean smoke weed? Does it mean like go on a run? That was my naive friend. Yeah, the list goes on and on about it. One of my it's not the same as their it. So I have to verify this. We all have to verify it, right ladies? The first thing you need to do is verify what it they're talking about. And that's exactly what I tried to do. So you text back, I don't even know what I wrote. I was like, it depends on what it is. And you know, this this person decides to write back, you know, sex. So we verified the it. We have to decide if we want to write back to this message or completely ignore it. What you really want to say is People shouldn't be asking if you've ever done it before. First of all, I've had people ask me if I'm a virgin too. Is this just an in thing? Like, you're a virgin? Like, okay, what do we write back to it? So, that being said, we go and get our good friend and ask them. Siri, what do you write back to somebody who asks me if I've ever done it before? I've never really thought about it. That's the answer they give. So we decided to go to our other best friend called Google. Thank the Lord came up with a long list of good responses to write back. So I find a list, and this is now a multiple choice question. There's multiple answers to write back to this. So I go on it, and I'm like, okay. There's like a huge, I found this really, really good post on what to write back. Because, you know, sometimes when people ask if you've ever done it before, you ignore it. But you know what? I didn't feel like ignoring it, so I decided to go ahead and mess with the situation a little because it's fun, you know? Answer A, only on Tuesdays. I don't know if that sounds good. I go to answer B, I'll forgive you for asking me that if you forgive me for not answering it. And there's answer C, do you sometimes feel insecure about your performance in the bedroom? No, so we now have answer A, B, or C, and I have to decide on which one I want to write back because Google, my friend, gave me really nice answers on what to say. So I decided on answer C because why not? You know, go for the risky one. It's funny. You sometimes feel insecure about your performance in the bedroom. Because you know what? You're asking me this question. Why do you need to ask me if I've ever done it? So what happens after that, you may ask? Never. How come? You ask that. Haha, ha, that was funny though. That's how the story ends. So the main story here is if you ever feel insecure about your performance in the bedroom, don't let anybody know. I'm just kidding. Um, but the real story, the moral of the story here is why do people ask if you've ever done it before? And why do people ask if you're a virgin? And why do people say things like that? But the moral of the story is don't answer it straight on. You could be really truthful and honest, but why? You get caught both ways. If you have had sex, you're a slut. If you haven't had sex, you're a prude. It's like, yeah. If you're not in a relationship with somebody and nothing is like, like, why would they have to know if nothing's like, what is it? Moving forward. Nobody should ever know if you've done it before. Whatever it is, we may never know. See you later, guys. That was Ashley's, um, Ashley's two cents little. of the day. Yeah, and that's the end of my video. And condoms prevent diseases and birth, birth control, control prevents pregnancy. Pregnancy. So that's what it is. Uh -huh. And that is how we conclude our videos. So let me know down below how you would have answered what it means. And let me know if you've ever been asked this question and what your response was. Because you know us girls or guys or whoever's watching this video always need another answer. Because if somebody asks it again, we always need to know answers thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed story time videos like this let me know in the crotch in the it area down below winky face <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i love you guys millions be sure to subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys later
Valentine's video coming on Wednesday. So subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys later. Have you ever done it before?